Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the error message that the site cannot be reached in the Google Chrome web browser. This should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, this tutorial has been performed on Windows 11, but should apply for Windows 10 as well. But, pretty straightforward. The first thing I'd recommend doing would be to actually just try the website in a different browser. If you're having the same issue in a different browser, like the website isn't loading, this is not a Google Chrome problem. However, you can still attempt some of the solutions I'm going to show in today's tutorial, but just want to kind of put that out there that there could be an issue with the website itself. That has nothing to do with your computer, so if you're having no issues with other websites, it's likely an issue with the website's own servers and not an issue on your end. So if you're having an issue on your end, you find it's just having a problem with one particular browser, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it. And we're going to start by opening up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down on this page to troubleshoot. Go ahead and left click on that and select other troubleshooters. Underneath most frequent and internet connections, go ahead and select the run button. Try and troubleshoot your connection to the internet and see if that resolves the problem. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to select the menu icon again, select network and internet, and then on the right side go down and select advanced network settings, and then select network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Please have your Wi-Fi passcode nearby, because once you restart your computer, you will need to enter that back in to get on your Wi-Fi network. If you're using an Ethernet connection, then you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and select Reset Now. Select Yes. You will need to restart your computer within five minutes, which we're going to go ahead and do right now. And hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.